With this tutorial, I will tell you how to create the very best quality 360 degree videos from start to finish for upload to YouTube. This is my Insta360 ONE X camera and I've got the video setting for 5.7K at 30 frames per second. And this is what you want if you're recording 360 videos in the highest resolution. The very first thing you will need to do is to take whatever 360 degree camera you have and go out and record some 360 degree video. After you have recorded your video, you will need a program called Insta360 Studio. You can do a Google search for that program. The best place to get it is from GitHub. After you have downloaded and installed Insta360 Studio 2020 on your computer, you will need to remove the memory card from the camera and copy the two files from the card to your computer. Each video file recorded will have two files with an extension of .insv. Once you have opened up Insta360 Studio, you can drag or drop one of your files that you recorded on your 360 degree camera. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but I usually choose the larger file and I just drag it over and put it in place. It takes it a little while to load. And once it comes up, it will start playing, but I'm not going to start playing it right now. You can edit the length of it. You can do other things with it, but I'm just going to show you how to do the basic export. Um, all of these defaults are fine the way they're set. You don't need to change anything there. But if you go to File, Export, you're going to need to change these right here. This is the, the original recording, but in order to edit it and do it on YouTube, you need to change this to 4096 by 2048. So you do this by just to 4096 and change this one to 2048. Now you need to change this encoding format to H265 and you need to put this bit rate up to the very highest it will go. And you can tell it a file name to export it and a file path. Okay. And this will be whatever name you want to call it. And then you can say OK. And you can see here it's getting ready to do it. But it's going to take quite a while for this to do it. It's, it's quite slow unless you have a really, really fast computer. But... Um, I'm going to cancel this right now. No, I'll just let it go until it's done. But you can see it's going quite slowly here. But once it's done, this will say it's complete. And then you can exit out of this program. But that's all I'm going to do for right now. The output file from Insta360 Studio will be in MP4 format. I am using Pinnacle Studio Ultimate to edit my 360 video to get it ready for YouTube. You need to change the input file settings for the 360 video. Go down to the little gear to change the input file settings. Click the top tab that says Aspect. Change that to 360 video, 2 to 1. Go down to the Size tab and select 4096 by 2048. Next, you can bring your 360 video to the timeline to start editing it. After you have placed your video on the timeline, you need to check that your input settings did not change. Now, you can do color correcting, 
add music or other voiceover items to your video. Once you have finished editing your video, it is time to export it. When you click on the export tab, you will see new settings to change the name of the file and where to save the file. For 360 videos, you have to change the output settings. Make sure the encoding is set to H265 and size is set to 4096 by 2048 and set interlacing to progressive and set frames per second to 29.97 or to 30. Set the peak bit rate to maximum, on my editor, that is 194 megabits per second. Change the name of the output file if desired. When ready, click on the export tab and wait for the export to finish. Once the export has finished, it is time to go through the last step to get it ready for upload to YouTube. You will need to run a program named Spatial Metadata Injector to add information for YouTube to know this is a 360 video. After the spatial metadata injector has been run, a new video file will be created with the same name as the original file with injected at the end of the file name. This file, with injected at the end of the name is the file that is uploaded to YouTube in the usual manner. It will take much, much longer for a 360 degree video to get up to full quality on YouTube. I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial. Now. You can go out and make great 360-degree videos for your YouTube channel.